because of me, we're actually gonna be making history. You know, I just don't think that we can leave it up to Chet and Quinn and mess this up for us. I should give them the call. You should give them a call, yeah. I already told Quinn to call you and reach out to you, but she said there was no point because, you know, you and Chet, you guys are, you know, tight, you're bros. Uh, isn't uh, Quinn your mentor? Yeah, she was. She was. And Gary, I'm running the show this year, but with them fighting, I just, I can't produce it with them on set. You just need to send them home, give them some time to cool off. They've trained me so well, you are in such good hands. Trust me, I have got your back, Gary. I can do this, I'm ready. No, no, man, it's too much talking. It's like a Merchant Ivory movie. Cut to the titty shot already. You don't have the titty shot. Well, Google it. I don't know what to tell you. Just double cut it, blow it up, slow it down. Okay, I need you to make it look like there was a real moment here, okay? <laughs> Thank you. That is how you look at a woman. It's like a damn instruction manual over here. And let her rip. Let's see it. Apocalypse. What in the hell are you guys doing? Gary. No, I, I, I'm sorry, Chet. This train is off the rails. No, he's off the rails. Really, Quinn? Well, then why don't you pick up the phone? Because that's what an executive producer would do. All right, you've got women in bikinis on the North Pole That was there. his idea. Listen to me. Listen to me. From what I hear, you've let your personal problems get in the way of the job. Now, we need this show. And until you can get your eye back on the ball, I'm putting someone else in charge. Excuse me? Yeah, someone who knows how to tell a story. Someone who can give the American public what they expect every season from this show we all love. Oh, really? And who might that be? Coleman Wasserman, come in here, please. Come here, buddy. Hey, Gary. Now, if you don't know who this guy is, you should because we have been looking for a chance to do something with this guy for ages. Everything he does on Blink blows up. 10 million viewers in the first week alone. Gary, come on. No, 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 no. Blink is going to become a network because of this guy. Uh, come on, Gary. This is totally unnecessary. Do you have any idea how much money I've made for you over the years? No, no. Huh? What you've made, Chet, is a well-oiled machine that needs someone strong at the helm. Look, either you get on board, buddy, or you go home. Because he is the one in charge now, all right? I'll leave with you. Hi, guys. Hi. Look, I'm excited to get to work here. Hey, hey, uh, Chet, one second. Look, I see what you're both going for. There's murder in both versions. For now, I think I want to lean into what Chet's doing. <laughs> Ever blasting. OK, yeah, whatever that is. Can't wait. We'll talk. Yeah, all right. So nice to meet you. Madison. Madison. Hey. Hey. I actually know who you are. I saw that displaced Cambodian sex worker series you did. It's very good. You just Googled that. No, I didn't. Believe it or not, I am interested in a lot more than just everlasting. Oh, I believe it. I know who you are, too. Gary said mm. you and Quinn make a great team. We, you know, we've been working together for a long time, so... Yeah. I'm guessing she doesn't know that you're the one who complained to the network and brought me here. I gotta say, that's a baller move. Sounds like something I would have done. But didn't exactly work out the way you wanted it to, though, did it? Because instead, you got me. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> 